Good morning, welcome back to my YouTube channel again. This is your host Santos Capellan Jr. Always wishing you a good day, guys. Today, what I'm going to do is to create a video tutorial for describing a PLC versus a DDC. Okay, so guys, what I have here on my table, this one is a DDC. Okay, so this DDC. This is the power power supply, okay? Then this is the DDC itself. Now, DDC stands for Direct Digital Control, okay? So, if you are watching my tutorial, I already explained uh, this UC400, okay? Now, this UC400 is a controller of train, wherein this controller is, uh, when it comes out of the factory, the application which is loaded to this uh, controller is for BAB application, okay? So, this is a, a specific application controller, okay? So, this is how a DDC will look like. So, there should be a power supply, okay? No, I, I'm not saying all DDC, it sh there should be a power supply, okay? But this train, it can come with a power supply. Of course, you can supply this one a separate 24 volts uh, AC, okay? Now, actually, this DDC, the power requirement of this is 24 volts AC, as you can see in the... Okay, let's see the electrical details of this, okay? Now, as you can see there, it is 24 volts AC or 24 volts DC. So, meaning this uh, DDC controller can accept a 24 volts AC or a 24 volts DC power source, okay? So, uh, I will explain later. And it, actually, I already explained this one, uh, like this uh, DDC. It has uh, binary output. Uh, how many? So, binary output is 3. So, there are 3 binary output here, okay? 3 binary output. Then we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 triac output. Okay. Then this one also is having uh, 2 analog output. Okay. Then 2 universal inputs. Then 5 analog inputs. Okay. Then there is a, the, you can provide here transformer. Okay. Uh, power source connection here. Then, binary input. It has also three binary inputs. Then, this is the link where you can connect the BACnet MSTP. By the way, this is a BACnet MSTP controller. Okay? Then, there is also a provision here for the 24 volts DC. Okay? As I said, this one is, you can power this up by 24 volts AC and 24 volts DC. So, this is the DC. Okay? So, I am doing this tutorial just to give you an idea what is the difference between a DDC and a PLC. Okay. Now I have here my PLC. Okay. Now actually this is an Omron Sysmax CP1L. Okay. So this is a PLC. PLC stands for Programmable Logic Controller. Okay. Now uh, let's check first the power supply requirement of this. So the power supply requirement of this is 24 volts DC. Okay. Now the, it will come with this power supply okay module this one is from 220 to 24 volts dc then that output of that power supply you will connect it here just like what i'm doing here okay so let me see now guys if you are doing the connection make sure to pay attention with the details of the information for the labeling here okay so we have here the plus and minus okay so, plus and minus, the, where you will connect the power source. Make sure you will always use the correct polarity. Okay? So, the plus and minus should go there. Okay? Then, uh, these are the inputs. Okay? So, inputs. So, meaning, this uh, PLC, it is like a compact PLC. When I say compact, that's, it, it, it has a CPU, then it has a built-in I.O. Just like this one. This one has an uh, 11 input channel, okay? Then it has an 7 output channel, okay? So later I will explain 
what are these output channel and what are these input channel okay because in our DDC it is clearly stated there okay that is the difference between DDC and PLC now in, in this PLC you can see that we, the, there are some also indication here power then when the PLC is in a run okay then if there's an error here and so and add, if there is a link here because this one uh, there is an Ethernet port here okay so meaning the, uh, this is an IP okay so you can connect it to the switch okay so there is an expansion also here I guess okay for expansion let's say you want to connect an IO expansion okay so in a D in a PLC uh, the input channels is not clearly stated what it is you cannot see an, any marking here not like the DDC okay then the output also uh, you don't know where is the binary output you don't know where is the analog output now we will uh, check it later but I'm just comparing the two what is DDC and what is a PLC now maybe you will ask me what is the common uh, application for DDC and PLC okay PLC we call we commonly find this controller in an industrial application okay when I say industrial let's say uh, refrigeration plant so most likely they have the PLC that is controlling the operation let's say a battling company then they will be having this uh, PLC okay so PLC commonly you can find it in an industrial application okay so this is a PLC now the programming language of this is di ladder diagram okay so uh, I don't know if you can write a script here but based on the data sheet this PLC the supporting the programming language uh, ladder diagram okay so this is a PLC okay uh, once again this is an Omron Sysmax CP1L PLC okay with uh, 11 input channels then 7 output channel then the power supply is DC 24 volts now of course there are some model that has different power requirement okay but for this model uh, it will come with this uh, power module okay so I hope you, you already have an idea what is a PLC and where you can find this PLC as I said it's in an industrial application okay then the labeling in the in, in the IO is not discrete okay so meaning you cannot clearly see where are you going to insert the binary inputs the analog inputs the universal inputs and so on okay now uh, let me go back here in my DDC so that you will see what I'm trying to say here okay so let me remove the power uh, the power here as you can see here for the DDC as you can see you can clearly see where are you going to connect the output signal analog output signal then the universal input signal then the analog input signal okay then also the binary input signal then the uh, binary output then the triac output so it's clearly labeled in the DDC the uh, IOs okay now the programming language here uh, most of the DDC they are supporting the function block programming okay and also script programming if you are watching my channel I'm doing function block and script programming okay now I'm including this PLC in my tutorial so you watch out for my next tutorial because I will try to uh, write some program ladder diagram for this PLC okay so you will expect in my upcoming tutorials that I will be doing uh, tutorial in PLC okay because uh, as a new engineer or new in uh, DDC or in new in BMS actually I already I also encountered PLC in my uh, projects okay we have some PLC but for the PLC, we are doing software integration. Now, for the application, I, as I said, PLC, you can find it in industrial application. Now, in DDC, you can find it in uh, business section. Okay, when I say business, maybe in hotels. Okay, so we have also HVAC equipment that needs to be controlled and monitored. Then you will find this DDC. Okay, so DDC, 
or uh, commercial uh, application. Okay? When I say commercial, it could be a hospital, malls, uh, universities, and shopping mall. Okay? Commercial buildings. So, you can find the DDC. Okay? Then, for the PLC, again, once more, you can find it in industrial application. Okay? But the concept is the same. Like this PLC, it has a CPU, then it has in input and output ports, okay? Now, for the DDC, again, it, it has also a central uh, computer, uh, no, microprocessor-based uh, controller or a CPU also. Then it has also IOs. So, meaning these are like a compact DDC and this one also a compact DDC, okay? When you say compact, there is already a CPU and built-in I.O. But some of the PLCs, they are expandable. When I say expandable, you can connect expansion I.O. modules, okay? Just like this one, I can connect also here an expansion I.O., okay? So, as you can see, uh, there is no big difference between a PLC and a DDC, okay? So, guys, uh, watch out for my series of video tutorial for PLC. Okay? So again, thank you for joining me. I hope uh, I have given you an idea what is the difference between a PLC and a DDC. Thank you for joining. Once again, before I end, God bless us all and let's all be safe. Bye for now.